going to try something a wee bit different today. I'm going to try natural lighting. I'm going to go back to my roots. As you know, I used to always fill my makeup tutorials with natural lighting. I never used to use artificial lighting. Well, I still use like artificial lighting and a mixture of natural lighting, but I haven't got any of my lights on. And I'm thinking that I'm quite liking this lighting. It is making my face and my body look like two different colours and it's probably because they are. <laughs> I have on my face the beauty blight. Beauty blight. <laughs> the beauty bay glow filter. This is the mid. I just slapped myself in the face with this. This is the glow filter in BB103. It's the medium shade. And I did do my tan last night and I haven't washed it off yet <laughs> so that's why it looks a wee bit skanky but anyhow I'm just gonna get into it as you can see guys finally right I have never received so many requests to do a tutorial with one palette ever so I'm doing it today okay calm down the requests can stop the death threats <laughs> joking kidding <laughs> But no, this is the Colourpop It's a Mood palette. I do not know why it took me too long to do a tutorial with this palette. Um, but also it's because it's out of stock at the minute. I will double check and see if it's back in stock. But the last time I checked, which was only a couple of weeks ago, it was out of stock. Um, but I'll see you anyway. So I do apologise with that. But do keep an eye, of course, because it will definitely come back into stock. Hello! But I have used it, like I can definitely tell that it's been used quite a few times. But I just think that there's so much more. Like anytime I use the palette, there's so much more I feel like I could do with it. So I'm gonna be continuing on with my Christmas makeup tutorial. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. I'm gonna be creating like a Christmas inspired type of makeup tutorial. I'm feeling the greens, I'm feeling green and gold. So I've had a couple of requests with green, mainly emerald green. I'm not gonna do an emerald green green makeup tutorial for Christmas this year because I done one last year. So if you wanna go and have a little nose it back at my channel, you'll be able to find that somewhere. But I was thinking like the golds and greens in this palette. I'm gonna start though with this shade here. I'm going to use this on quite a small petite P. Louise brush. This is the 143. And I'm first off just going to stamp this shade on. Just right in the upper crease. I'm just going to stamp it on first of all just to get the build up of that pigment and the shadow before I go in and blend it out. And also stamping your shadow on first of all. Let you kind of create your shape. The reason I'm doing this is because I think I think I want to do a cut crease. I want to do a full cut crease glam. Taking it right back to 2016. Now once I have that shade packed on, I'm going to go in, not taking any more product on the brush because there's going to be a wee bit of product left on the brush anyway. I'm now going to start blending. I'm just going in a wee small circular motions, keeping quite a light pressure. You're not wanting to press down too hard. You just kind of want to tickle at the edges of this shadow. Just to blur and blend at it. Feel free to go back in and build up that shade. Right, I do apologise. I'm going to take the Be Perfect and Carnival palette. <laughs> that doesn't even look green to me. So I'm going to take Clover. Do you know what the problem is with that palette? Like the Colourpop palette. There's so many shades in it. And the colour story is so perfect and so beautiful that I'm looking at it and I just I get confused. There's just so much that I want to do with it. But I also find that if there's a particular makeup look in my head that I want to do with it, there isn't enough of the shades to actually just use that one palette. Like I was looking at it thinking, there's not a really dark brown, there's not a black, there's not really this shade of green to work with that shade of green. It's a perfect palette and it's unreal and I get so inspired by looking at it. But depending on what look I'm wanting to do, it's, the shades just aren't enough. <laughs> so I do apologise. But yeah, just still introducing this clover shade. I'm just going to be packing this on. I take another wee clean blending brush. 
and I'm just going to do a wee bit of blending at these edges. Gone in between these two wee blending brushes to pack on and do a blend. I might actually take a bit of antidote to shade again and focus that shade right within that crease so that whenever we cut the crease, we have that bit of depth there. I do apologise. Is there a lighter green in here? No. <laughs> Saws. I'm going to take moss or buttercup. No, moss. Buff and blend 04 brushes. Also, I'm going to take the antidote shape. I'm now going to do a wee bit of blending of this. I'm going to take a Morphe M562 and I'm going to go into Mystic, which is the black in the palette, and just focusing this on the outer corner just at that crease I'm going to pack that black on and also start to blend straight away last night I created a Christmas playlist I don't know why I haven't done this before, but I was thinking about it in yesterday's Christmas tutorial that I'd love to have all of my Christmas makeup tutorials like in one place for you. I know they're all in one place, they're here on my channel, but it just means that through every year that I've been doing Christmas makeup tutorials, you're going to have to go and find them. But I created a Christmas playlist for you. So how handy is that, right? So basically, if any of you are wanting to go through like my previous Christmas makeup looks or Christmas tutorials, or even if you've missed them, haven't seen them before, you want to go and have a look at them, right back until I think five or six years ago. <laughs> I have to say, my Christmas makeup tutorials are some of the best makeup looks I've done. I'm not being up myself or I'm not like on my own arse or anything, but I have to say like some of the Christmas makeup tutorials that I've done in the past, are some of my favourite makeup looks. I absolutely love them. So I will obviously, can I, can I link? I'm not too sure if I can link down below the playlist, but if you just go on to link my channel, and it's at the top of the page beside the community tab and videos and whatever else, I don't know, um, you'll be able to find it because I did of course put it on public. So yeah, gonna have a wee nosey. I'll obviously be uploading this tutorial to that playlist as well. So it just means that like if you maybe you're wanting a certain Christmas makeup look and I haven't done it and I'm not going to be doing it, I've maybe done something like it in the past because I obviously like to do something different and like different makeup looks every single year, but I do notice that I get like, um the same requests nearly every single year about certain makeup looks like for example somebody had asked for um like an emerald green eye makeup look i done like a emerald green glitter eye makeup look last year so if you're wanting something emerald green you go back and look last year <laughs> or like a baby blue i done this beautiful like icy baby blue makeup look like, like three four years ago maybe Beautiful, loved it. Um, oh, I've just done so many things like bronze, golds, glitters, sequins. Oh, love it. <laughs> Taking a wee bit of moss. 
I'm going to introduce a wee bit of this shade. So because I am using natural lighting, I do apologise if the lighting goes a wee bit funny because it's a really sunny day today but it's also really really cloudy and it's starting to rain on and off so obviously that's going to alter the lighting a wee bit so I do apologise. Oh my god it's been that long since I've cut my crease, what did I use to do it? First of all, I like to take some micellar water and a couple of cotton buds. Oh, and by the way, I'm not going to be using the P. Louise base, this one. This is the base that I like to use to do my cut crease. It's the Made by Mitchell and P. Louise base in the shade Blank Canvas. I think you can get it on Be Perfect Cosmetics. If you can, of course, use my discount code. So using a micellar water and a cotton bud, a cotton bud especially that has the pointed tip, it just means that I'm going to be able to go in and actually create my shape by removing the eyeshadow. So now it's really easy for me to go in with my base to cut that crease even further. And also it just means that the base and your eyeshadow isn't like mixing together. I take a wee blending brush before this base dries. Also, just doing a wee bit of pattern at that base on the lid. This is just going to maybe like lift up or lift off any excess. Going into the Colourpop, it's mid palette. I'm now going to take this shimmer shade here. Oh, I didn't see that. Oh, there's a gold. There's a gold up here. I'm gonna take the gold. I'm gonna take this one. <laughs> Pressing this shimmer shade just where I've cut the crease. I'm not gonna really care too much if it gets along the lash line because I'm gonna be doing like a smoky liner there anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But I'm just gonna be using like a flat packing brush, making sure that it goes quite pointy so I'm able to get right up at the cut crease. I have this loose pigment, the 24 karat glitter pigment from Makeup Addiction Cosmetics. I think that might be, this is, the problem with this is it's just a wee bit messy and it can crease, but I also have the Helen E glitter, but there's also a glitter in the palette. This one, it's really nice press glitter. Ooh. I'm gonna add some glitter glue.
I'm also going to take a black gel liner and I'm just going to stamp this along my lash line. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, I feel like I've just ruined this bit. Wait. <laughs> right, so I'm going to grab like a wee brush like that. I'm going to take Antidote from the Stacey Marie palette and I'm going to pack this on top of that gel liner. Like at the outer corner as well. I'm not really caring too much whatsoever if I'm being messy or anything here because I'm going to completely clean this up. I do apologise, honestly at this stage I should actually be sitting editing this video to upload it tonight but I think I'm going to have to upload this video tomorrow night because I'm not going to have time to edit this so. As well as on my base off camera, I'm just using the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade London on my lips. I also took the Cash Beauty Liquid Lip Liner just in the shade Nude Ombre. Um, if you have any other questions about what I'm using on my face, leave a comment and I'll get back to you. And I'm just gonna quickly finish the eyes. So, as per usual, <laughs> I don't really think I'm gonna do much on the eyes, to be honest. Probably just a wee bit of something on the lower lash line, blend it out, and that'll do us rightly. So, back into the Antidote palette. I really do apologise, I'm not really using much of the it's mid palette, but <laughs> I'll get around to using more shades in it eventually. Yeah, so taking the shade Antidote, did I mention that was the shade I was taking? I'm taking that one out of my way. I have nail glue on my arm and it keeps on pulling my arm hair and it's very uncomfortable. So the reason I brought down that shadow at the outer corner whenever I was blending out that gel liner was so I was able to, whenever I was doing the lower line, fuck, whenever I'm doing the lower lash line, it would have been easy to blend it to the liner at the outer corner. Bloody hell. <laughs> Let's not injure ourselves. I'm also going to be taking my Buff and Blend 04 brush and I'm going to go into a wee bit of moss. <clears throat> I usually like to do these wee finishing touches at the end whenever I have my base makeup done. You know, I was actually supposed to put my Christmas tree up tonight. <laughs> I think I had mentioned to you in Monday? What day is it today? Tuesday? I don't know, whatever day it was, I had mentioned to you. I think it was last week actually. I had basically mentioned to you that me and Kyle still haven't, um, that me and Kyle still haven't got our Christmas tree up. And I was intending on putting it up either tonight or tomorrow night, but do you know what? We're not going to bother. And I can't believe we're actually doing it. <laughs> what absolute grinches. <laughs> so bad. But I just, this is like the least Christmassy I think I have ever, 
ever felt. I do not know what it is with this Christmas or this December. Maybe it's because I haven't got my tree up, but honestly, couldn't care less. You see, for a cut crease, I have not done a cut crease in I don't know how long. That ain't half bad. I'm gonna give myself a right pat on the back for that. That's not half bad. I do still think that this palette is out of stock on ColourPop, but I will link it down below anyway and keep an eye out. It definitely is bound to come back in stock at some stage because it's a very, very popular palette. Also, I did notice whenever I was linking some products from ColourPop in yesterday's trial, they're having a 70% off sale at the minute, like an end of year sale up to 70% off. Honestly, their eyeshadow palettes, like their mega palettes, their nine pan palettes are like basically half price. I had to stop myself from going absolutely crazy but that's one thing I'm trying not to do at least for the end of the year is buy no makeup and I won't be anyway I won't be anyway but what I am going to do is you see at the start of the year and I can't wait I've been I've been holding off <laughs> I've been holding off from taking things out of my makeup collection I am going to be doing a massive declutter I am wanting to get rid of at least 80% of my makeup. Anything that I've bought myself and it's brand new, untouched, I'll sell, I'll give away. You just want something, you can have it. I don't know. But anyway, <laughs> so that's going to be a video coming at the start of the year. A massive, massive declutter. I'm rambling. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I hope you've enjoyed and I hope to see you in my next one.